Driving Test UK, the short notice driving test specialist. Mohammed is just about to start his second driving test at the Hayes Driving Test Centre. The driving examiner has checked his photocard provisional driving licence and has conducted an eyesight test. Mohammed failed his previous driving test in the last few minutes due to lack of concentration. The driving examiner has asked us to turn right and then immediately left onto Swallowfield Way. When merging onto Swallowfield Way, be extra careful about the traffic on the right. There are usually large vehicles parked on the right. At the roundabout, the driving examiner has asked Mohammed to turn left onto Dawley Road. Dawley Road is a 30 mile per hour road. On roads like this, it's very important to keep a check on the speedometer as it's very easy to creep over. The driving examiner has now given instructions to turn right at the roundabout. Having turned right, he has asked Mohammed to stop on the left somewhere conveniently safe. Having stopped on the left, he has now asked Mohammed to drive off when it's safe. The examiner has now instructed us to turn right at the roundabout being the fourth exit, basically we're doing a U-turn at the roundabout and coming back into the same road.
The driving examiner now has asked Mohammed to stop on the left immediately before the junction. Having stopped on the left, the driving examiner has, has asked Mohammed to drive past the junction, stop on the left, select reverse gear and then drive into the road keeping reasonably close to the curb at all times. In other words, the reverse round the corner exercise. Many learner drivers worry about this exercise. However, it is not as difficult as they think it is. If you have any problems with this exercise, consider watching our video on the unknown secret to reverse round the corner. Bear in mind, if you do go wrong in this manoeuvre, you can go forward to correct your mistake. Observation during this exercise is just as important as the manoeuvre itself, if not more important. The driving examiner has now asked Mohammed to turn right at the end of the road. This time at the roundabout we'll be following the road ahead. That's the second exit. This is Cromwell Road. On roads like this, keep looking out for gaps between parked cars, so if someone does come, you can easily stop somewhere safe. At the end of this road, the driving examiner has instructed us to turn left into Wood End. Bear in mind, this is a 20 mile per hour zone. At the roundabout, we'll be following the road ahead. That's the second exit.
This is Morgan's Lane. It is a one-way road. Many learner drivers fail at the end of this road due to road positioning. The right hand side of the dual carriageway was clear, so Mohammed has gone in the middle and is now waiting for the left to be clear. This is perfectly acceptable as the, as the central reservation is large enough for the vehicle. We have just turned right into the Uxbridge Road, which is a 40 mile per hour road. We have now turned left into Park Road. And now turned left into Park Lane. During the driving test, the examiner will ask you to stop on the left a good few times. Make sure you remember to check over your shoulders and make sure it's clear in front before moving off. At the roundabout, the driving examiner has asked Mohammed to follow the road ahead, which is the third exit in this particular case. Generally speaking, it's a good idea to check the mirrors before each and every single hump.
At the traffic lights, the examiner has asked Mohammed to follow the road ahead. At many junctions, you get two or three lanes before the traffic lights but then it all merges into one lane after the traffic lights. The side mirrors become very important at this stage. This is quite a long wide road and it is easy to get caught for going over the speed limit. On the wider roads do keep a check on your speedometer. Once again, the driving examiner has asked Mohammed to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. This time, it is to start the independent driving section of the driving test. The instructions given to Mohammed are basically to turn left at the traffic lights and then follow the signs towards Heathrow. The stop here is quite a long stop as Mohammed is starting to feel nervous. He has asked the driving examiner if he can have a sip of water and whether he can turn the radio on. The driving examiner has given Mohammed permission to have the radio provided the volume is kept low. Feeling fresh and calm, Mohammed is on his way to turn left of the traffic lights and then follow the signs towards Heathrow. The bus lane is currently not in use, so Mohammed should actually be using the bus lane. On this particular occasion, 
the driving examiner has given Mohammed a minor mistake for not using the bus lane. Bear in mind, Mohammed is still following the signs marked Heathrow, which is the fourth exit on this particular occasion. Mohammed should have taken the lane on his left, but instead he's got into the wrong lane marked Yedding. Mohammed has now realised his mistake but will have to try and move over to the left hand lane. Having checked his mirrors carefully, Mohammed realised that he was not going to be able to change lane safely. So he has decided to go around the roundabout for a second attempt. This time, Mohammed has chosen the correct lane, marked A312. The driving examiner has not recorded this as a fault. However, if Mohammed was determined to change lane, he would have failed his whole driving test. Bear in mind, the driving test is there to see how safe you are. If you ever come across any situation in the driving test that you are not sure what you should do, do whatever you feel is a safer thing. We are still following the signs marked Heathrow, which is a second exit at this particular roundabout. This 
This is the Willow Tree Roundabout. The speed limit on this road is currently 50 miles per hour. The independent driving section of the driving test causes many learner drivers stress. If you're not sure where you're going, you can ask the driving examiner for confirmation. They will help you. The driving examiner has just informed Mohammed that the independent driving section is now over and he will direct him as normal. The driving examiner has asked us to take the next turning on the left. This is Pump Lane Industrial Estate. Be aware of large vehicles. If the driving examiner does not give you any instructions at a roundabout or traffic lights or any other junction, assume you are going to follow the road ahead. However, if you do have doubt as to where you are going, once again you may ask the examiner. At the roundabout, 
The driving examiner has instructed Mohammed to turn left, which is the first exit. This is Botwell Lane. At the roundabout, we'll be turning left. On these residential roads with parked cars on both sides, be prepared to give way to oncoming vehicles. <coughs> we are now turning left into Printing House Lane. Many learner drivers fail in the last five minutes of the driving test. You need to concentrate all the way till the very end. Try avoid looking at the examiner or his paperwork to work out whether you're passing or failing. At the next roundabout, we'll be turning right. It was at this roundabout that Mohammed failed his last driving test. There is only one lane on approach to the roundabout, but in the roundabout itself, there are two lanes. If you're turning right, you must be in the right-hand lane. On his last test, Mohammed took the left-hand lane and failed the whole driving test just for that one serious fault. At the next roundabout, we'll be turning left back into Swallowfield Way. Mohammed did exceptionally well today, especially on, to the, on the White Hart roundabout where he went around the roundabout the second time rather than to risk forcing someone to slow down.
Hello, I'm the voice behind the video. Firstly, a big congratulations to Mohammed on passing his driving test. Did you know that Hayes Driving Test Centre has a pass rate of below 50%? Why not increase your chances of passing the driving test with these top tips? Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck with your driving test. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck with your driving test.